I was introduced to him by by Dan Harper, who was the guy I'd gone to stay with. I went to stay with Dan Harper and his very nice wife and child, Awa and uh, Zaina, in Addis Ababa. Got introduced to a lot of musicians: Feleka Ailu, Sedenia Gebre Marcos, Sintayo Zaneba, Tanamaj Warata, and Samuel Yoga. And Sammy, at that time, he'd been playing piano or keyboards generally four or five years only. He didn't own a keyboard or a piano. And when I heard him play, I was quite taken aback by his technical proficiency and, and musicality. I mean, he's extremely talented, extremely gifted. Uh, he had trained under the tutelage of Feleke Ailu at the Yarit School of Music in Addis Ababa. And he had another tutor whose name I've forgotten, so apologies. Uh, so he'd had a classical music education, but he was also interested in playing jazz and Ethiopian music. And what I found exciting about that was that he didn't see high culture as Western classical music or as jazz. He saw it as a combination of all three things, Ethiopian traditional, music and scales, jazz and classical. So I thought that showed a very flexible mind and, uh, and, a, and a great desire to, to perhaps evolve something new out of those three elements. As a result of meeting Sammy uh, in Addis Ababa and working with him on the first Dub Colossus album, A Town Called Addis, a couple of years later the album got a release with Real World Records, much to my amazement and surprise and joy. Uh, as a result of that, we, we had some live concerts and Sammy and the rest of the Ethiopian part of the group came over to perform at the Barbican and also at Glastonbury Festival on the Jazz World stage. Uh, and here we are several years later and I am the producer of Sammy's album, his solo album. Um, he's also on the new Dub Colossus album called Addis Through the Looking Glass, by the way, which he, he's playing very well on. But the, the solo album is his big story. That album was made mainly in real world, but a small a part of it, a quarter of it, was made by Sammy in Addis uh, with an engineer producer, although ostensibly really an engineer, but a man called Abiyu Solomon who's one of the great musicians in Ethiopia, he's lived in the States a long time, so a fantastic musician, he's a bass player. He's a complete virtuoso uh, and a very sweet guy. So four songs were recorded in Addis and then brought over to be worked on at Real World Studios, where we replaced keyboards and percussion and various bits and pieces. The rest of the album was recorded in situ uh, at Real World Studios with people like Clark Tracy, the son of Stan Tracy, the great jazz composer on drums, so Clark Tracy on drums, Bernard O'Neill from Syriana on double bass, um, Neil, um, uh, Ben Summers and uh, Neil Waters on tenor sax, baritone sax and trumpet and flugelhorn respectively. And they work with people like uh, Dizzy Rascal, they're the brass section for Dizzy Rascal's last big tour. Um, they also, Dr. John, I mean just uh, 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 And other guests include Nicolette, who first appeared with Massive Attack on the second Massive Attack album. She's singing on the album. Mel Gara, who's an Iraqi Jewish girl singing, um, who's an English Iraqi Jewish girl, which is even more confusing, whose mum's from Liverpool, which is a great story. But basically, uh, oh, and the, and the Creole Choir of Cuba, of course, make an appearance on the album. It's a very wonderful Creole Choir. Some of the solo piano pieces were recorded in Liverpool Philharmonic Hall, the Liverpool Philharmonic Hall uh, using a very old Steinway concert grant and some of the solo piano pieces at Real World were made with Peter Gabriel's Bosendorfer concert grant and some of the pieces were done on a Yamaha baby grand. So that was interesting, recording Sammy on three completely different pianos. Um, most of the album itself was done with the Yamaha because it was in situ. I think going to become one of the great pianists uh, around generally 
not just because of his technical ability, which is fairly phenomenal, but because he's open-minded and he has something new to offer, which is this combination of elements. And that's it, really. Only he's a very nice guy, on top of that. And he works very, very hard.
So, Ben's going to stand there, yeah? I put three more here. Thank you. Thank you. So, Ben's going to stand in the front of here, yeah? No. So, huh? Ben's on the OK, are you going to do some singing? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really but maybe to say talk? something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'll put the clouds there. Thank you. 